other than your family. All that matters that week is preparation for this game. Nice job, fellas! Hey, nice job, kid. Welcome to varsity. And we gotta outwork them. We gotta out physical them every single snap. Go, baby! You know what happens in life? I know what happens. The more I talked about being tough with the ball, what are you, scared? Well, we're acting like it. Well, I don't see anybody grabbing the ball hard and going up hard after I just told you that that's the single most important thing that will matter Friday in Cameron. Either you're gonna get tough and emotional with the ball or you're gonna lose by 40. I said be tough with the ball and raise up your intensity, and you've totally laid down today. They've beaten two teams this year by 50. They didn't lay off the gas pedal, Brett, because we're nice guys. You're playing soft and tentative, and I don't know why. We have to turn it up a notch. Two, let's go, cut hard. Siena's a little Catholic school. It's uh, run by Franciscan Friars. It's located in Loudonville, New York. Siena's got a proud basketball tradition. Beat Stanford in the NCAA tournament in 1989, which was the school's first ever appearance in the NCAA tournament. Really, the glory years for the team were in the late 2000s, uh, 08, 09, and 10. The team won three consecutive MAC championships, won two NCAA tournament games those years. Uh, really kind of the greatest three or four year period of Siena basketball in the school's history. Every college basketball team is really looking to go to the NCAA tournament. And in order to do that, you usually have to win your conference tournament. So you build your team throughout the season to be playing your best basketball at the conference tournament. Our first two games this year against Duke and Wisconsin, the two teams that were in the national championship last year, it's the first time that's ever happened in the history of college basketball. You sense your players are looking forward to this trip? I think they're looking forward to the whole experience, but I think they're a little nervous. It's something that you watch on TV, you see the Cameron Crazies, and I mean, it's it's really cool to be able to have this, this opportunity. Yeah, Nico? Duke and Wisconsin are preparing us for the rest of the year. You can't play a better two teams to get prepared. One runs up and down, one's a little more physical. One's in a really band box 9,000 seat arena. One's in a pro arena. But I want them to remember the trip. I've said that a million times. I want them to remember this trip. Today's practice was good. You know, there was the, the, the time there where Jimmy got a little upset because our players were kind of going through the motions. And it's good to remind them that they're playing at one of the greatest places in college basketball, at Cameron Indoor, against one of the greatest coaches of all time with a great staff. And that opportunity is three or four days away. Jimmy Patswis is great, man. He's like a second father to me. Jimmy was a, a longtime assistant coach to Gary Williams at the University of Maryland. He was working as a bartender at the third edition and just a hustling, grind it kind of guy, man. He was working till three, four in the morning bartending, and then he was the first one in the office and worked his way up to uh, Gary Williams' top assistant. I actually didn't get paid my first two years at Maryland. I think that's why I got the job. Right at me, Kenny, right at me. Good, there you go, right at him. He got a chance to be a head coach at Loyola, took over a team that was one in 27, and took that program into the NCAA tournament six or seven years later. I like coaching kids from all walks of life. I mean, and I'm not just, look, everybody's got stories. This isn't hoop dreams, you know? I've coached some tough kids from Baltimore and D.C., but I've coached some really wealthy kids and some kids from Nigeria and California and Miami and Croatia. And I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try the big arena. There's a lot more media attention here. You know, there's a lot more pressure. That, that, that was probably a dumb thing because they have great expectations here. There, yep, good. 
I have complete confidence in Jimmy. He's won everywhere he's been from Maryland National Championship to Loyola, won in 27 to the NCAA tournament, um, to coming here and winning a CBI championship. So I think we're on the right path. We got a good group of kids and uh, we're looking forward to this year. We have to work way harder. We have to work way harder than that. Uh, I think when people see him on the sideline from the outside looking in, they don't really understand Jimmy. You're just kind of startled by the guy. He's just, he's very colorful. He's more knowledgeable about more subjects than you can imagine. He takes that and incorporates it and educates our players. Somebody taught Diana Ross and those Steve, Stevie Wonder was Barry Gordy from Motown. Everybody's learned. Who taught Mike Krzyzewski how to coach? Bobby Knight, see? See, that's how it works. Let's go. My mother and I lived together in Back Bay, Boston. So I was kind of her date to the symphony to movies, to cultural events. I had a lot of interest, you know? Jimmy is very generous, kind, fun, boisterous, loving. Almost all the players, when they graduate and move on to the next phase of their life, stay in touch. They're always gonna be a part of the family. He cares more about the players than anybody I've been around. He just came in right off the bat, impressed everybody, real sharp guy. Knew everything about us before we even met him. He had done his research. You're 18 years old. I know one thing. You don't have all the answers at 18. Nobody does. Justin Bieber thought he did. How'd that work out? Biggest jerk out there. Canada, too. His mind is running, like, you know, a million times fast. It's all over the place, but it does make sense at the end. At first, you're like, Wait, what? But <laughs> at the end, you're like, okay, like it makes sense now. I see where he was going with that. He always trying to make us understand the importance of working hard. The more you work hard for something, the, the closer you are to getting it. So, like, I really respect that about him. Yeah, the goal for us this year is, is to win a MAC championship and, and get to the NCAA tournament. We're in the MAC, and that's the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. And it's basically New York schools. We have Buffalo, we have Central New York, we have New York City, and a little bit of Jersey. We send five of our 11 teams to the postseason every year, which is great. This is the guy we're going against Friday night, and he plays so hard. You know, the Big Ten, Michigan State, Ohio State, Wisconsin, you know, they're going to get six, seven, or eight teams in the NCAA tournament. The MAC is a really good league, and we'll probably only get one or two in. So there's 11 teams fighting for that one spot. School comes first here, and that's important for us. My educating them is more cultural. They're probably like, well, is that guy ever going to give us anything that's going to help us get rich? I'm like, no. He might not have the most talented players all the time, but he, these kids love him, and they'll run through a wall for him. I'll learn the most about this trip the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after we play these two games. Win, lose, or draw. What do we find out? Now where do we go? And now everybody else that we play, we have a coin flip chance of beating. We're getting there. Go ahead, Kinnon, say something, Kinnon. Be a giver, not a taker. Sienna on three. One, two, three. Sienna, yeah, yeah. be a giver, not a taker, Kinnon. Let's go. I want him to remember Niagara Falls, not just playing at Niagara. I took him to the Andy Warhol Museum. The Guggenheim, we go there. I force feed him stuff like that. He's funny, cool, and he keeps everything real. That's his personality. Uh, they don't let me play music in here. <laughs> My music gets turned off real quick. They don't like the country music. I dig I dig all types of music. That is a renaissance. That's right. Our first real game is against Duke on Friday. Our second game is against Wisconsin on Sunday. You know, these are two of the best teams in the nation, and we're going to go play them right out of the gate. If you don't challenge yourself, in other words, why are we playing Duke and Wisconsin? I'm not worried about that. We play in Manhattan, Iona, et cetera, et cetera. You can't hide out there in the 32 games we play. Challenge yourself to be good. We have to get better as a team. OK, we're going to watch a little bit of Duke and, and Miami first. We're really focused on what can we do to go in and, and shock college basketball and beat Duke Friday night. They're the most successful program in the country, but they're not perfect. See, that's why you don't have a one-handed pass, because you can't bring it back. They got lucky. Obviously, we're going to go in as huge underdogs. But at the end of the year, you know, when you're playing in, in the MAC tournament and you're playing in the NCAA tournament, you're going to have to play in front of environments like this and teams like this. Look at how much they, they go to converge towards the ball. 
Pretty good. And turn lights on. So they get the rebound, stay home. Don't let them kick it out for threes. Don't leave the ball side. This is all stuff we do anyways. We're pretty confident that we have the right matchups and stuff like that. So um, we'll be ready uh, Friday at 7, hopefully. We're good at certain things. They're good at certain things. Make sure we play to our strengths. Let's go stretch it out. Today before practice, we showed them a little bit of Duke from last year, so uh, they know who they're matched up against now, who they're guarding Friday night. They go Willem. No, nope. you're in trouble now. This time of year right now, I think they're tired of practicing. They want to play games, and that I understand. Yep, good. We've had about 35, 40 practices. I mean, it's a long grind, but the guys are ready to play. Green's ball. Green's ball. Last year was definitely a difficult and down year. A week before our first game, we lost Emo towards ACL. Tough Emo, good. Then five, six games of the season, we lost Brett to a broken toe. Losing our two big men from the jump were definitely, you know, put us in a difficult position. Javion Ogunyemi played for Siena last year, decided that he wanted to transfer to BU. He was one of the most improved players in the MAC. You never want to see a kid leave, but uh, it was for his, his well-being and his family. First of all, he signs with Siena early. The coach leaves. Now he's got a new coach. We re-recruit him. His mother's part of the process. She had cancer. She, in six weeks, passed away. You know, I had the burden. I had to deal with my mother's death right before the school year started. So I think it made my freshman year very challenging. You know, there were a lot more downs than ups. Realized that he didn't really want to be away from home. He's, he's a local kid from right here in Troy. And so he transferred back. And I think he's going to have a great year. Today was more focused on Duke. You know, we did a lot of stuff regarding them, which normally we haven't done in the past. You got a trail, you got a trail. Jay, right there a little bit if you have to hedge. You got to go over the top. Ryan Oliver's cool. You know, he's a good play, good shooter, really good shooter, but great guy to be around. Ryan Oliver's one of those guys I know I'll communicate with the rest of my life. Careful. Ball side shooter. Brett Bisping from Illinois. Had the bull haircut, all golly gee, when we first got here. But plays hard and not afraid to do the dirty work. Nice. Brett Bisbang is the most outstanding, hard-working player on our team. He had MVP of the CBI tournament. Brett is the type of guy that everybody wants to coach. He stays after to shoot almost every day. We have to tell him to get out of the gym so that he'll rest a little bit. Explode towards the hoop. Marquise is a quiet leader. He's a phenomenal talent. I think he's one of the best point guards in this league, if not the best. He's been running things since he got here, and you know we wouldn't want it any other way. He's from Southern Maryland. He was the Gatorade Player of the Year, and he's really done well for us. And he's on the billboards, and he handles it well, and gets good in school, and really nice kid who plays really hard. Seventeen to three was the score of that game. Gold, get a drink. Good job, Gold. Green, you owe me a suicide in 27 seconds for that one. Practice is fun because, like, he's talked about athletes, talked about the best actors. Jimmy's all over the place. But his point is you have to listen. You have to be coachable. One of the great things about being able to travel is the opportunity to use the away games as a teaching tool to make them see the world and to look at something that they might not choose to look at on their own. And I think the kids remember that. I want them to remember Niagara Falls, not just playing at Niagara. When we went to Pittsburgh, I took him to the Andy Warhol Museum. The Guggenheim, we go there. Things like that, I force feed him stuff like that. You know, he had Kenny look up the Black Panther Party and do a little uh, summary for the rest of the team. You know, he does stuff like that. Like, he really cares about us as people. Where's the Black Panthers from? California. Oakland. Right? That's why LeBron James played for the Oakland Soldiers, because they were the soldiers in the West, right? Angela Davis, right? He's funny, cool, and he keeps everything real. Like, that's that's his personality.
you got to do the shoot around, but then you got to go to dinner with the boosters. And then you got to tell the players it's time to focus, but then it's time to, you know, business, man. And now uh, I'd like to introduce our events coach, Jimmy Patsos. I had to make sure I said hi to the Vice President of Academic Affairs first. <laughs> we had a great academic year. And you know what? That, that's what Sienna's about. The reason that these cameras are here, you know, I'm not sure the bartender's shaking that enough. This isn't a James Bond movie. Take it easy back there. <laughs> Spectre's already been released. I, I understand that the basketball program is not just about basketball, it's about the school. A lot of people here, you come around the program besides coming to the games, and we like that. Wisconsin and Duke is, is, what, what, is what we all want. What a dumb idea that was, John. <laughs> 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 we just wanted to say that it's going to be an exciting year. We're going to get better as we go. I want to win for everybody as much as you want to win, believe me. Thanks a lot. We're going to distract you, focus in on trying to make this shot. Cameron indoor, it's small and loud, like the court shapes. They do it every time. It's, it's going to be insane. Right in, let's go. I found this right when I moved in here, Eggies. Support small businesses. How you been, brother? What do you got, another month left? Uh, yeah, to about the end of December. Go ahead and iron coffee, too? Uh, yep. How do you like it? Just black. That's why. It's the air money. That's why I like this guy from day one. So I was going to see you in a week. Yeah, I'm down, boss. Thank you. Too, right? I like meeting the people, you know, whether it's the Aggies guy that was kind of funny or restaurant people. But the media people, they work hard. What's up, brother? Man, how are you? I'm bringing you eggies. You eat eggs? Do you eat eggs? I eat eggs. Jethro Tall Aqualong. Look at that. This is why you got to come in the studio. Bruce Springsteen, Bon Jovi. Where's the Sugar Hill Gang? We got Sienna head coach Jimmy Patsos in studio, always one of our best guests. No team has started a season like this, facing the two teams that were in last year's national championship game. I like doing the media stuff because I feel like we're lucky to get all the coverage. Um, I, I just was disappointed in a couple guys' attitudes towards the season. But you got to give to get it. You got to do it. You can't just go and you can't go just when you win. That's what's st that's the bad part. You got to go if you lose. If something bad happens, you got to answer the questions. Knock on wood. The fans are hungry for it, so I do it. At Duke Friday night, at Wisconsin Sunday. Coach, I know we're, we're playing those two games up, but uh, once you guys get through that gauntlet, of course, we'll turn our attention elsewhere. Good luck. Have a safe trip. Chris Honorado in for Roger on Big Board Sports. It's sort of like half the team comes against their haircut. Got to look nice for the cameras, man. Got to finesse the haircut. My man. <laughs> you look like you got uh, uh, a ready for Duke face on. Will, local guy, been here a while. He's been a fan of Sienna, comes to a lot of games and everything, so real cool dude. Let me get you ready to get you about 20 to 30 points haircut. 20 to 30. There you go. We're doing the same thing? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, we call him Botox because he gives people shots right to the face. <laughs> you the man. When was the last time you got to play Duke, man? Thanks for having me. I don't think Sienna has, to be honest. So you part of history, right? Oh, yeah. And then, I mean, to play Duke, then Wisconsin, like, they later. You got Duke, then Wisconsin. Yeah. Wisconsin is all right, too, man. Yeah. It's a tough one, Two good, two good teams, two good challenges to get you guys ready for the season. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get a fresh cut before you go play games. Got to. Got to. It's mandatory. I don't know. I want to know what you're gonna do. What you're gonna do over there, big guy? I'm gonna try to work out. You're gonna try to work out? What does that mean? You're gonna give me ten rebounds? I need ten rebounds. Ten rebounds? Yes, at least ten rebounds. All right. Uh -huh. And give me a shout out when they interview you. <laughs> All right. I like I to you. shout out my barber, Will, uh -huh. Abar. Shout out. Now from the barber shop. Yeah. Okay. 
If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have got this 10 rebounds because I just motivated you. <laughs> two slashes for two Ws. Always a pleasure. Good luck. All right. Make sure, make sure you do what you got to do. You guys play hard, man. You got it. Botox is leaving the building. You make sure they know your name out there. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Get there quick, get ready to shoot. Hands up, butt down. We have two big opportunities, Duke and Wisconsin, but we want to take it one game at a time. One more day, we actually play Duke tomorrow. Keep moving, keep moving. It's a big competition for us, but then again, we like challenges, and we, we want to take the challenge and do our best. Come on, man, run, 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 run like a man. It's still a fairly young team, you know, so and when you got a young team, sometimes you got to get on them more so than others to get them to play hard every day. Give it a Nico, shoot it. They know the plays, they know what to run, they know where they're supposed to be, so um, playing hard is a skill. See, it can't really be taught, but it's, a, it's about emotion and energy, um, and Jimmy gets that out of him. Okay, bring it in, let's go, bring it in quick. 39's good, what'd you get? The pen doesn't work, why is it in the box? The guy I want to find in life is the guy that had the pen, it didn't work, and he put it right back in the box. That's why I'm getting old. This is a one and one We're going to distract you because you're going to have nothing like they move, and then they do this, and they, they're all choreographed. Focus in on trying to make the shot. Cameron and Doy, hearing that it's small and just loud, like the court shakes. They do it every time. I kind of know what it's going to be like, but I really don't think I'll know until I'm there playing. It's, it's going to be insane. One for Ryan, one for Ryan. Come off the double, hit a three, practice is over. Bring it in, let's go. This is a great experience. Make no mistake, they're not the same team they were that won the national title. That's all I'll say. Let's have a great trip. Let's not worry about one little thing. Why don't we all focus on that, on three? One, two, three. Right. Have a great trip. What the? Got a little poster, Hannah Davis, Sports Illustrated model, something for nice for the house. November 1st, I wake up at 10 in the morning. I see a Christmas tree, the lights on. Christmas is my favorite holiday. I think the housemates like it too, but uh, that was the day after Halloween. I went in and got that. Got the stockings for everybody. I got three Christmas CDs over there. I love it. I love it. The crazy part, he said he has more to come. Like, I'm, I thought this was perfect, but I'm afraid to see what's going to happen next. We might have like snow in the house or something. Who knows with Brett? three pepperoni and three cheese just to like have a little extra, you know? There's two separate buses. There's our bus and their yeah, bus. Yeah, I'd get them, you know, some subs and pizzas. I would. Just a whole bunch. Everybody likes a sub and a pizza. Be creative, man. This is your area. Take over the program, man. The goal for us this year is, is to win a match championship and, and get to the NCAA tournament. I think we have the right pieces to do that. Uh, we have great leadership. We have great veteran guys. And we also have a really good group of young guys who are ready to come in here and play. And they're not afraid. They're not afraid of the moment. That's our goal, to win. You know, we understand that the odds going down there are going to be tough. You know, the fans are definitely going to be against us. The refs will probably be against us. And the nation who's watching the game will probably be against us. But I think for us just to go in there and, and be the underdogs is just a great feeling because we have nothing to lose. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. But at the same time, once the ball goes up, it is still business. You know, they wear a jersey just like us, and we have to go out there and battle. 
We feel extremely lucky to be able to travel to these next two games and charter the flight. For us to be able to get on a plane uh, with first class seats and with 30 of our donors and, and alumni and travel to a place like Duke is really thrilling. For, for a small school like Siena, there's only 3,000 students here. Um, I think it's a really big deal. They're fired up. We're going into Cameron Indoor Stadium, who's number five in the country preseason. We got good energy and we're, we're ready to go. Duke and Wisconsin are preparing us for the rest of the year. You can't play a better two teams to get prepared. Run your offense, hands up and rebound. I'm going to win in the first four minutes. Nice. Other than your family, all that matters that week is preparation for this game. Nice job, fellas! Hey, nice job, kid. Welcome to Varsity. And we gotta outwork them! We gotta out physical them! Every single snap! Go, baby! We know to be tough with the ball. Tough with the ball means step into the ball. Run your offense, hands up and rebound, and play ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just think about it. Compete, compete on three. One, two, three, compete. Let's go. Sienna has had a lot of history of winning. As a staff, we're very passionate about bringing them back to the NCAA tournament where we feel they belong. The goal for us this year is, is to win a match championship and, and get to the NCAA tournament. There's no better way to start your career if you're a freshman or go through your last year if you're a senior against two of the best teams, two of the best coaches that have ever coached college basketball. We're really focused on what can we do to go in and, and, and shock college basketball and beat Duke Friday night and shock college basketball and beat Wisconsin Sunday night. That's really our goal. It's a once in a lifetime thing, but at the same time, once the ball goes up, it is still business. Duke and Wisconsin are preparing us for the rest of the year. You can't play a better two teams to get prepared. the worst traveling, so oh, it'll be cool. And this is actually my first time ever being on a plane like that, so, you know, I'm just very excited to see how spacious the plane will be. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Swift Air. Our estimated flying time is one hour and 30 minutes. To be in charge of flight with your team and fans and, you know, friends of the program. It's amazing. It's the coolest thing we've ever done. Yeah. I heard a lot of NHL teams use this, so. We'll, we'll take that, yeah. <laughs> we'll take that. Just getting some eats, you know? Always good at it. Hey, I'm liking this private thing already. Yeah, we just gotta we just gotta take care of business. This nice though. We had 30 people pay a lot of money to come on this trip to support the trip. Let's go Saints. Yeah. <laughs> like 25, 28 of the alumni, people that really support Santa basketball, corporate sponsors. For us to be able to get on a plane uh, with first class seats and with 30 of our donors and, and alumni and travel to a place like Duke is really thrilling. I like that all the time. <laughs> Let's go. Really 
it's like a museum, just like they said. A lot of banners. Holy cow. That's a lot of banners. Unbelievable. To have the son here, to see Jimmy Patos and all friends and family and people from Albany. Let's just watch Jimmy be Coach K now. Let's go, let's go. Everybody's in. The former players are in the front. Get around, gather around. Let's go. Short people over here. Quick pitch here. We got to do this quick. Let's go. I just want to say, really, how much it means that you all came. This, the first thing I told Gary Williams today was how many people we had coming that paid. And he just couldn't believe that we had 30 people that would pay. So if our players can give everyone a hand. Yeah. That's really great you guys came. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much. We'll see you afterwards. Hey, players down here. That's it, Jay. It's good to get a feel, to see everything. It looks exactly how it looks on TV. Get the two play set real quick. One for Brett. One for Brett. Nice. Good job. Bring it in. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it in. Bring it in. We're out of here. OK? It's great, great opportunity. You see what it's like. It's tight. It's loud. Use your hand singles. You got to talk to each other. Play hard and have fun on three. One, two, three. Play hard and have fun. Let's go. To your meats, you need your bacon and your sausage. Biscuit, croissant, with a little bit of fruit. Starts your day. We got a game tonight, man. Seven o'clock. You know, lights is on. We, we ready, man. It's almost that time. We just tour in North Carolina. It's beautiful out here. But this is one of the most beautiful public universities in the country, Carolina. Besides this, You'll see the whole Franklin Street. Then we'll go to the Dean Dome. See any pretty girls out there or what? Yeah, you see one around the corner. <laughs> still, still looking. It's no, it's no possible suspects out right now. We probably got several back around the block. You a free agent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on the market right now. All this was woods. All this was woods. Billy, they built, they have so many great players, they had to put their own Carolina Hall of Fame. All right, let's go. Quick picture right here, Brett, underneath. Quick pitch here. We got to do this quick. Let's go. We're good. That's it. Cameron could fit here. Right? Watch it on TV and finally see it. This is awesome. The banners up there, the white ones in the back are honored. That means they can still be worn. The ones in the front are retired. They will not be worn again. The uh, retired is just straight up National Player of the Year. This is big time basketball, man. We got Mike Jordan, James Worthy, Antoine Jameson, Tyler Hansborough. I mean, the list goes on and on, man. This is this is best it gets right here. Stackhouse. Yeah, what are you talking? This is crazy. Who talking? Most of these guys, almost all of them, are never going to play in the NBA. Most of them won't play professionally. So it's about having a well-rounded experience. It's not just about being a Siena basketball player, but being a true student athlete. We're out. Let's go. I mean, we're going to have to play sharp. They, I mean, they don't make mistakes. we got to be smart and let them know it's going to be a 40-minute war. Get in there, Ryan. Just be ready to play. have our best night, they could have their worst night when you're playing two different level teams, high major, mid major. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot easier said than done, but I mean, you have to go into the game with that mentality. You, you play to win, that's why you play the game. Just going into this game, just knowing that we're playing against top players and just the name that is Duke. Earn your way. Earn your way. You want to talk about you? Earn it. We won 20 games in the CBI a couple years ago. We earned our way. I thought we lost our way because we weren't thinking about earning our way. They've earned their way. Their, their banner wasn't given to them. 
They, you want to earn their respect? Play hard. Don't, don't, don't give up or pout or anything. Learn from them. But I like it. How about winning the first four minutes? Brett, play ball on three. Play ball on three. One, two, three. Play ball. ball. Let's go. They'll do look at the end of their NCAA record 116 consecutive home wins against non-conference opponents. That's just a half of it for Siena because on Sunday they travel to play Wisconsin, who Duke beat in the national championship game. Stay together. Stay together. One, two, three. Stay together. Stay together. Conference opponent comes in here, tries to hang around for a while. X, X run the play. X, X, run the play. Ah! Ah! Mike Shashevsky's team breaking away as they so often do. 44 27 at halftime. I talked to you guys a million times about how we have to keep scoring. So when we have a breakaway, and I think we're going to get a dunk and score, and it's knocked off your leg and out of bounds, I take it personally. That's exactly what just happened. So don't give me any of your You know what you should do for the next year? Yes, coach, and thanks, coach, or I'm not sure what you mean, coach. That would serve you too well. You just got exposed out there. We did a lot of good out there. But it's not easy. It's not easy. You gotta learn. This is why we're playing these games. This is good for us. We can come back. Vermont was down 15 last year and came back. All the way. Oh, another half. Let's go. Yeah. Gotta learn to stay together. Play team ball on three. One, two, three. Play team ball. Let's go, let's go. Tough, tough. We just want to run offense. We're going to run every play we have Greg, every time. Sienna with the basketball. Nice. But it comes right to Bisping for two. Back up, Ten. Rebound picked off by Sienna. And here come the Saints trying to cut into the lead. Say it, Say it. I really wanted them to be intent on winning the first four minutes. Easier said than done here at Cameron Indoor. Nice. So now sitting very comfortable here well into the second half against Siena. Finish, finish. The head for long, had to adjust, and he lays it in. So the final seconds ticking away, an easy victory on the scoreboard for the Duke Blue Devils. Couple plays at the end, like LeVon he played really hard, but I, I wanted to run a ball screen with Brett. Like, that's going to matter if we want to win the Mac. Are you hearing me? Because you played very well. 
But you just, we got away with, we, did, we didn't want it, and you're not wearing your headband anymore, so that's done, so you might as well take that off right now. Just take it off. That's done, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna earn that. I don't like it. Because I'm gonna make you understand one thing, Nico, and uh, Kenny and everybody that college basketball is a lot tougher than you think. We learned a lot today. But we got Wisconsin, they ain't gonna feel bad for you. They're gonna try and hurt you. They play more physical. We had a lot of little plays that went against us tonight. If they go our way on Sunday, you could win that game. But sometimes you gotta make little plays. Hard working, tiny little plays really start to matter in this game. All you've proven to me is that you have everything I thought you did. And we can get there. But you gotta have to start trusting us and listening a little bit. Just a little bit. And then when it works, you'll listen just a little bit more. We have to get better because we came on this trip to get better. That's it. Bring it in. Go ahead, Marquise. We got to keep working hard and on to the next game. Sienna on three. One, two, three. Sienna. Yeah. This is my mom. She came all the way from California to come to the game. I told her there's one game she came to this year. Guys, we do. So she came out to support me. Go, Sienna. Biggest, biggest fan right here. I love her to death. Yes, yes. to you this game. Oh, wow. It's my mother. <laughs> Only an 18-point loss. Exactly. It's not okay. We don't lose. Ah. I, who's your number one fan? Who's your number, oh, one, who's fan? Your number one fan? I got a lot of number one fans. What? Who is your number one fan? Mom. Mom. That's <laughs> right. No, he did. <laughs> okay. I'll see you Thanksgiving weekend. I'll be up to bring you turkey. Real quick turnaround, we're at the airport about to leave now. We have to go play Wisconsin. We just lost their home opener, so they're going to be hungry. You know, they're going to want to beat us. Hopefully get some rest tonight and tomorrow, and then got to be ready to play again on Sunday night. A lot of people are doubting us, of course, but we're going in thinking we're going to win. This is a benchmark for the rest of the season, because it doesn't get much tougher than this. One, two, three, three, four, let's go. We'll practice in the afternoon for about an hour or two. So we'll probably show them the football field and that kind of stuff. And then uh, back at it Sunday, you know, you got to play the team that went to the national championship who's, who's hungry to get back there in Wisconsin. Here we go. Bring it in quick. Let's go. Going to be a tough game tomorrow because they're all tough. Playing hard is a skill. It starts by practicing hard. Because you could have been embarrassed where I go every year. It's a disaster. They went in a club with a machine gun and held people hostage. You might have issues, but you don't have problems. These people have problems. It's a mean, hard, cruel world out there, and all we're asking you to do is play basketball. That being said, they're going to play really hard tomorrow. They played hard last night. They just were a little off. They got caught making some mistakes. They're going to certainly try and improve them. The more things you know, the more valuable you are, because you can play lots of positions. Stretch it out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Stretch it out. Wisconsin just lost to Western Illinois, and that was a very rare home loss for them. Wisconsin's actually never lost back-to-back -back home non-conference games. On one hand, it shows that Wisconsin's beatable, but on the other hand, it certainly got Wisconsin's attention. I'm sure they had a pretty sharp practice yesterday. There'll be life after this weekend, and we'll move right on to the next weekend, but for now, we're really focused on what can we do to go in and beat Wisconsin Sunday night. That's really our goal, so that's, that's what we'll try to do. They lost Frank Kaminsky and uh, Decker, their two best players. But like Duke, man, Bo Ryan's one of the greatest coaches in the country. I think this is last year. He said he's going to retire, so it's kind of neat to play them. Let's get a win. Get a win. It's OK to want to get a win. It's OK. That wasn't the highlight of our season yesterday. That was the beginning of our season. We have a long way to go and lots of good things to do. Let's get it. Wisconsin is what you should be thinking about. Have fun. Go check out Madison. Think about everything that's going on in the world, but not bad to beat Wisconsin. Beat Wisconsin, one, two, three. Beat Wisconsin! I wouldn't say that he's a typical coach. He has a more casual relationship with his players. They don't really call him coach. They just call him Jimmy a lot of the times. It's more of a friend relationship. We're doing the race. It's touch the white line. Behind the white line, manager's race. Take it off. Let's go, Mac. I got you, Mac. It's down and back. LeVon, get down there. Make sure they touch the white line. Wait, it's back, too? 
down and back. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah, Wes! And these boys that maybe have never left their neighborhoods um, or left their state um, is the opportunity so that he can show them, you know, important landmarks, important neighborhoods. As long as they're listening to him, and he's, <laughs> then he's happy. It's okay. Feels great out here. Feels right. Should be on this football field. Wisconsin, they play so passionately. They, they're always diving on balls, taking charges. They do all the dirty work. And he wants us to have that same mentality. So hopefully we'll be able to see that firsthand and, you know, take away, set this as a benchmark for the rest of the season because it doesn't get much tougher than this. It's a real good chance to get a win, chance to get better, chance to show the country what you have. Play ball. See you later. A lot of people are doubting us, of course, but we're going in thinking we're going to win. You can't go in there just like looking around like the lights and this, this and that, because then that's when you don't play well. So you want to just go in confident and just be ready to play, stay focused and just be calm. I think we need to make sure that we learn from this. We could have our best night, they could have their worst night. You, you play to win, that's why you play the game. One, two, three, play ball. Sienna comes into this game experienced and healthy from a year ago. And don't expect a Jimmy Patso's team to back down. Match up, Nico! <laughs> Rat, move your feet. No, Nico, no. Marquise Wright runs the floor. Right around two defenders to tie this game. <laughs> Working. Good, LeVar. Yes. Yep, good. Back, back. Nice play there on the defensive side by Emo Silas. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Nice. Nice. Oh, the Yemi, you're going to have to get to the lead. Got to run on, got to run on, got to run on. Got to run. Foul against the Saints in this first half. Good. And second chance points all Wisconsin as they picked up a 12 point lead, their biggest of the night so far. He just wants to go home. Should we just quit? The guy took a fade away and called the foul. I got a better whistle at Duke. I'm winding down. Koenig misses. Put the jam. What happened? What, Duke was it? Not big enough game for you? You ain't gonna pout your way out of this one. We're not gonna win the Mac pouting. But I'll tell you one thing. You better get more emotional than this. You better get more emotional than this. to start the second half here tonight, down by 15 against the Badgers. This big drops it. To cover good. Stay down. Get it, Ryan. Another turnover from Siena. Best night of shooting for Siena. Well, stop, LeVon! They have missed five of their last six. Badger's doing a great job under defensive glass. That wraps it up here in Madison. The Wisconsin Badgers put away Siena tonight, 92-65. We hung in there for a while, but we just, we got to play better defense than that. And they're big and they're good defensively. And uh, when we stopped running, that's when we got in trouble. We did it for six minutes at Duke, and I think we did it for six minutes here, and that's not, 
That's why you play these games. We, this is a great experience for us to get better. For a school like Siena to come here and play in front of 17,000 people and play a team that's gone to two Final Fours in a row is really good, and this will help us down the road. Here at Siena, they got high expectations for the basketball programs. It's such a big part of the school and the tradition. Um, so our goal is to go to the NCAA tournament. Having a winning season means you go to the postseason. I just think postseason things really means a lot to the players. I just love the game so much. It's fun and competitive, and I like to win. It's something I love to do. A successful season for me would be cutting down the nets in March in our home arena for the conference tournament. To be involved in some postseason this year would be tremendous. I think that college basketball is probably one of the most fun postseasons of all the sports. I wanted to graduate, meet a lot of people, find out what they want to do so they can follow their passion and be successful at it. My job is to open doors for these guys, but I want them to have a really good experience besides playing basketball.